Today we're working in Faneuil Hall and we're working from, um, from life. It's a busy place. We have a lot going on, but we're doing watercolors in Faneuil Hall uh, for the month of July and the month of August. Uh, today's scene, we're looking just straight ahead. What we see is a, a kiosk with a background, some people moving around, some things that are specific to Faneuil Hall, such as the lighting, the style of kiosk, people having a good time, and enjoying a, a sunny day uh, in the Faneuil Hall marketplace. So we're going to start with a drawing and place some of these things. The tree on the left, the kiosk, the figures, and some of the lighting. So if you'll have a look at the, the drawing that I make, you'll be able to see how I've arranged things. I have the kiosk in the center, some people milling around, a backdrop of buildings and a reference to the lighting. We practiced, before we started, we practiced what we call a gradient wash. You can see that video if you look, uh, look on my website. And we're, pra we're using that now to create the background at Faneuil Hall. Um, this background is simply buildings that are in shadow. So I'm um, creating a large wash that goes from the top to about the midpoint in the paper. And I'm making an effort to transition this wash from a lighter, cooler color to a darker, warmer color. You can see I'm adding color as I come down. I tilt the paper to feed that color back up into the wash. And uh, we're going to let that wash dry and work on the lower section with a wash of um, light pink which is representing the the brickwork that we see at Faneuil Hall and as it comes down we're going to add we're going to do another graded wash transitioning this light pink color to a cooler darker color at the bottom so I'm using a warm reddish color with a lot of water and then as it comes down you see I've added a little bit of pink and blue to that those are two big washes they go over the whole painting now it's dried. We've had time for this to dry and I'm starting to paint the kiosk. As I paint the kiosk I'm looking for a way to create a similar graded wash. Of course I want the kiosk to stand out so I'm going to be using darker colors. You see I've started at the top with a green. This, this green is representative. It's kind of typical of what you see in the kiosks in Faneuil Hall. Um, a nice welcoming green at the top and then this kiosk is filled with all kinds of things. It can be scarves, it can be knickknacks, Boston memorabilia and um, we'll put some people mulling around and we'll put some shadows on the ground and some shadows on top of the kiosk. But I want you to notice how I'm creating it. I'm trying to create it all as one wash from the top of the kiosk to the bottom, it's extending all the way down into the wheels. And this is one wash and it's all flowing together. I've been using some browns, some blues, and green on the top. I'm going to continue to add some details and then I'm going to be going to the ground which is dried now and trying to create the dappled sunlight. The dappled sunlight is created by the trees overhead falls on the ground and it's uh, shadows that are kind of fragmented so that, that's why I'm using the stroke that I am. It helps to um, make the shadows feel like they're falling on level ground at the same time it creates sort of a dappled feeling. Using brown and blue to create these shadows. What you see me doing now is actually lifting color so the, the color hasn't thoroughly dried. It takes about a day for a watercolor to really dry. So it's still kind of tender and what I'm doing is taking just a little water in my small brush and pulling out some of that blue so that we have uh, the orbs that create uh, the lighting that's at Faneuil Hall. It's really distinctive. It's usually two orbs followed by three, followed by two, followed by three. An awning placing the blue awning back there. We'll add a little red to the sign that's above. 
And then we're going to go back and start to create some shadows. Shadows falling over the kiosk. The shadows are going to be painted with a darker mixture, which means the color is thicker. Watercolor, if you add a, a good amount of water, it's going to be thin and runny, like we just used in the background and the foreground. And as, oh, we're doing figures now. Okay, well, it's the same idea. The color that I'm using is kind of a gray. You see these figures look like silhouettes. And uh, this is helpful because I, I don't have to worry about the clothing yet. I have, all I have to worry about is the proportions of the figure and getting them uh, in positions that I want. After that, you'll see that we're going to add some colors and make it a little more festive. Right now... I'm just accounting for their position and their place in the picture, trying to create some interesting groupings. And um, after this, I'm going to return to the kiosk and start to place uh, some darker shadows. Oh, here's a fellow. He's sitting down, eating his lunch. This is a typical scene in Faneuil Hall. People walking all over the place, enjoying... Uh, being outside, enjoying being in uh, the atmosphere that is, is bustling and festive. Here's those shadows that I was talking about. It's a darker, thicker color. It looks black to you now, but as it dries, you're going to see more blues and warm co tones, warm colors coming out. Uh, this is just because the when the paint goes on, it tends to look a little flat as it dries. You start to see more richness, more depth in the color. Putting on the shadows on the top part and bringing some of those shadows to the front of the kiosk and then a lot of shadow to the back part. Uh, what I'm doing now is starting to create that tree that's growing up on the left side. The tree provides a canopy, gives us a reason for those dappled shadows that we see below. And... Um, it also gives a, a strong vertical element to an otherwise, an otherwise very linear scene. It kind of stops the eye for a moment just before you want to exit the picture and kind of concentrates the energy right around the kiosk. We'll continue to build the, that light by erasing color. Later on we'll add some darks for the supports that are between and we'll add some highlights on top. 